Hello, what's up? Welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna bring you guys through my apartment and show you all of the items that I feel like are essentials to your space, whether you moved into a new place or this is gonna be like your first place on your own. I did one of these the very first time that I moved into my very first like apartment on my own. And I have a lot of those same items that have lasted me through the years of moving. And I also have a few new things that I picked up for this new place. So I just wanted to share some of these essentials with you guys. I will link everything down below for you guys. If you guys want to check any of these out, make sure you subscribe, leave a thumbs up and let's hop into it. All right, first up on the list, we have this little vacuum. If you guys have been following me since my studio days, I had one of these. I don't know what happened to it. Something went wrong with it and it broke. I don't know how it happened, but anyways, I have been needing a new robot vacuum and I feel like these are essential especially if you have one of these little furry friends <laughs> yes i'm talking about you my sweet boy so i picked up the exact same one that i had just because i truly loved how simple and easy it was so this is the dbot from ecovax it's their little robot vacuum it has this little remote. This is the home button. You can set it on auto. That's what I usually just do. I haven't like programmed it or anything. I know you can do all of those different things with it, but quite honestly, if I just notice that there's a little bit of like hair and fur getting built up <laughs> around the floors, um, I'll just go ahead and hit auto and then it just starts doing its little thing. And then if I want to send it back home, I just hit the little home button and it'll just take itself back home and then it'll charge. There's also a little on off button right there. And then all of the dirt and everything is caught in here. Very easy, very simple to empty. I found mine on sale, I think at Target or on Amazon. All right, next up I wanna point out the two lamps that I've had for quite some time in both of my apartments. I've actually had both of these since my studio days. So this first one, they're actually both from Target. This one I feel like a lot of people have. I've gotten quite a few questions about this one. I really love it. Um, this is the first lamp that I have. And in my bedroom, this is my little robot vacuum. I accidentally knocked this over earlier and I didn't notice. And so it's a little lopsided now. I'll, I gotta fix the legs. Um, but <laughs> this is the other lamp that I get a lot of questions about. Everyone always asks where it's from. It looks kind of like a birdcage lamp. This is from Target. Love this thing as well. Over the years and throughout the moves, I have noticed this is probably mostly just user error um, that I've broken like one of the legs, just how many times it's been taken apart and moved. Honestly, if you don't have to like move your stuff every six months, like I feel like I have, uh, you should be fine. I feel like this lamp is like holding up pretty well, minus the fact that I've had to take it apart so many times to move. Um, and then I just have little smart bulbs in there and I love it. I still need to reconnect these ones to my internet here so I can change the color and everything, but you can get those off Amazon, they're great. All right, this next item is something that I just recently picked up for the new apartment. I am a big tea drinker. I grew up drinking tea, and this is the By Deem Tea Maker. If you are a big tea drinker, you know that tea, depending on which tea you are brewing or making, it needs to be brewed at a different temperature to really just like release all of those flavors and aromas. This one is great, it has all the options on it. We have black tea, oolong, white, and green tea. And then you can also just like boil water if you wanna do like oatmeal or something, which is really cool. So all you have to do is push one of the buttons and it'll determine the boiling temperature for either black, green, white, oolong tea, and it will boil to the perfect temperature for the leaves in the infuser. It allows you to always easily steep and enjoy the perfect tea. It also has an auto keep tea warm for one hour. So for an hour, it'll go ahead and keep your tea warm after you've boiled it. Inside of this, it has a removable infuser and this is where you'll put your tea. You put this in here and then you can go ahead and boil it depending on what tea that you are making that day. I am very excited to have this in my kitchen because you guys know I also have a water uh, tank. I will show you guys that in just a second. I love this thing because it can do cold and hot water, but the difference between having something like this and having like my water tank that does like the boiling water is this one will actually, you know, do the correct temperature for each tea 
whereas my water tank just has like one single option for hot water and it only boils at one temperature. So I'm very excited to have this and now I can actually purchase more like loose leaf tea. If you guys wanna check out one of these by Dean tea makers, you can use the code T15 for 15% off. I will have the code on the screen for you and in the description and the code will be valid until September 4th. So if you guys wanna check it out, there's a little discount for you. All right, so like I said, this is the water tank. I have actually had this since I lived at my mom's house. I absolutely love this thing. You can get these, I think on Amazon, probably at Target. Um, the specific brand that I have is the Primo one. And this one has like touch screen features. I think that's actually peanut butter on there. Don't mind that, um, but it has cold feature, room temp, and then this is like the hot water feature. And then it just dispenses water. And in here you have your five gallon water jug. So I'll just get like um, a bottle or two delivered every few weeks and you know, helps me always have fresh water and make sure that I am, you know, not buying a ton of plastic bottles. So love that. I've had this for at least three years now and it's held up great, especially with all of the moves in different locations that it's been in. All right, this is another little random feature. Don't mind my kitchen sink being a mess right now, but I actually purchased this little like cheese platter so long ago at CB2. I think it was CB2 or Crate and Bar Barrel, I forget. Um, but I got this and these matching little coasters and they have held up so well. I love them, highly recommend them. Coasters aren't essential for, I feel like, anywhere in your apartment. Um, I keep some on my little island counter. I have some on my coffee table. I have some in my room. I think I keep some in my bathroom for when I'm having like coffee or something while I'm doing my makeup. They're just an essential to have in your place, especially if you don't wanna ruin your furniture. If you have like wood furniture or anything like that, it's a really good idea to have coasters just around the house. All right, another thing that I feel like is an essential, Bentley, excuse me, um, is Tupperware. And I have purchased, I actually don't even have my other ones that I was gonna actually show you guys. Um, I have purchased like sets of Tupperware. I personally like the glass ones um, over the plastic ones, but Ikea has really affordable, good options for like Tupperware containers. And I've noticed that they're a lot cheaper than like the big sets. And also if you don't have a lot of like storage space or anything and you just know that like you need a few containers versus like a whole set of Tupperware containers, I feel like Ikea is a great place to check out for stuff like that. Um, they come with the lids and they have a ton of different like sizing options. So mine are actually dirty because I used them Oh, that was loud. Actually, I think they might be in the fridge. Oh, I'm gonna take my microphone with me if I go too far. <laughs> um, but like I said, these are the Ikea ones. They snap on, they're really great. Definitely check out Ikea for stuff like that. I'm so worried I'm gonna like yank my microphone and bring my camera down. My camera is already pretty broken, so we're trying to be careful here. Okay, another essential, I got my microphone cord wrapped around my plants, is, is this. I showed this to you guys when I lived in my studio, and I love this thing so much. I feel like most apartments, you have at least like one single door for your laundry, if you do have laundry um, in your unit. But I got this at Target, it's $15. It folds out like this and you have all of these little slots that you can hang your clothes on um, and then it has this top piece. Mine gets a little like messed up all the time, but I love this thing. Best $15 I've ever spent. I have used it since I actually lived with my mom and I bought a new one when I moved out of my own and left that one with her because she loved it so much and we used it all the time. So I love that it folds up so like sleek and simple and you know, it just gets put away. You wouldn't even be able to know that I have that there, but I feel like it's easier and better than like a drying rack that you have to store somewhere else because this just hangs on the door. It's always there and it's so convenient when you need to dry your clothes. I feel like another essential, if you have a furry friend, <laughs> this is the Chom Chom from Amazon. I've had this since I lived in my studio. It works so well on my couch. I usually like keep blankets because it's easier to just like wash blankets than like constantly chom chom my couch. But you know, if they're in the wash or something and I need to roll out my couch and get rid of a lot of the dog hair that's there, 
that is a really handy thing to have. Another thing that I purchased for this new apartment is actually my patio set. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that I had my egg chairs, loved my egg chairs, but I feel like I just needed something different for this space and something that I could like work at. And this is the patio set that I found. It is also from Walmart. My egg chairs were from Walmart and I am obsessed with this little patio set. So this is what the patio set looks like. I'll insert like a better picture. My patio is kind of a mess and I don't want to open this because then it'll be loud out there. But it came with this little glass table and these two chairs. It did not come with cushions, but honestly, it doesn't really bother me. It was way cheaper than any of the other ones that I found. And I just put like a little blanket on there because I'll sit on this one and usually put my feet up on the other. But I love this little set. If you have a patio or balcony and you want something cheaper to, you know, furnish your patio with, this was like $180 pretty affordable for patio furniture, at least for what I've seen. All right, for my last little essential that I wanna share with you guys, I get a lot of questions about this when you guys watch my vlogs, but this is my favorite laundry hamper that I have found. I think I've had a few different ones and I got this one when I moved to my last two bedroom place by myself and it's held up very well, I really like it. So this is the laundry hamper that I have. I believe this is from CB2. It's CB2 or Crate and Barrel, I forget. I get those stores mix mixed up because I don't shop with them enough, but uh, this is what it looks like. It has these little snap inserts so you can go ahead and like unsnap it and pull the bag out and it has like a drawstring. But I like that this is like very sleek and it like blends in. And it also has handles on the side if you need to like carry the whole thing. But then like your laundry isn't just like out in the open and it's like concealed, you know? And like it looks better. It goes with the aesthetic and I enjoy it. It was very worth it. I think it was, it was definitely on the pricier side, but this thing is held up. I do really like it. And uh, yeah, we'll just throw that option out there for you guys if you're in need of a laundry hamper as well. All right, I feel like those are all of like the essentials that I really wanted to share with you guys for the new place. So like I said, I will have everything linked down below for you guys if you guys want like more of these of like other little things or like Amazon favorites or anything like that. Let me know in the comments down below. Love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.